So let's talk about Chaplain Colonel, who is yeah. in Hawaii, loving life as the Manchcom chaplain Tell there. It. God's country where there's yeah. a rainbow every day. Every day. Beautiful water, beautiful weather. Mm. Your bride is there. Mm. You're just loving life in PACAC. Truth. You've just spoken truth. And you are noticed. You are notified yeah. that uh, tomorrow yeah. you will not be Brigadier General. Yeah but you're just jumping over it as a history maker and become Major General, Chief of Chaplains. Yeah. Colonel, Major General. I, and I remember receiving the, the memorandum where it said Brigadier General and then it was a recall mm -hmm. because like, no, he was not Brigadier. Mm -hmm. He was Major General, Chief of Chaplains. Yeah. Tell us that experience, sir. It, it's still mind-blowing today. I mean, the, the, the whole thing is, is mind-blowing. And, you know, one of the best gifts that um, anybody ever gave me, and several people gave me this gift as a young chaplain, they said to me, you know, you're a pretty good guy, but you've had a weird career. You've spent 10 years, and the, and the clock is ticking. Yes. You know, the clock is ticking from the day I was commissioned as a, as a line officer all the way. Um, and, you, you know, you, you have to make general officer mm -hmm. before your, the end of your 30th year. Correct. Um, that's just the way the, the, rules, mm -hmm. the rules work. Um, and so the, the best advice, the best gift, the greatest blessing anybody ever gave me, and several people gave me this blessing early on, and they said, you're a good guy, but it's too bad you'll never be chief of chaplains. <laughs> And I, I, didn't, I didn't even know what a chief of chaplains was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I mean, I was just mm -hmm. so thrilled to be a chaplain. That's all I ever wanted to do. You know, the, the, the whole, all the education, the calling, all of that. I just wanted to be a chaplain. And, and, uh, and when, when they told me that, I first, I, as I said, I don't know why you're telling me this. I don't even know what that <laughs> is. But when I figured it out, I said, great. There's no pressure on me. I don't have to try to impress anybody. I don't have to do the things. I don't have to worry mm -hmm. about getting the right jobs and doing this and that. Um, I just have to. Get, I just get to be a chaplain, mm -hmm. and I'll be a chaplain until God says I'm not a chaplain. When He says I'm not a chaplain, I'll I'll go do something else that He tells me to do. <laughs> so th that that was my pers uh, perspective all along, um, and and it 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 served me well because I knew from the from almost day one I was never going to be the chief of chaplains. <laughs> And so it was awesome, you know, and so anytime I got a, a cool job, I was like, man, this is gravy. I mean, who, who would ever have imagined that um, I, I, I could have gotten to be the absent chaplain or I could have, I could have gotten to be a pack out chaplain. And, and then when it started getting closer, people would say to me, you know, as a colonel, they would say, you know, it's just too bad that uh, you don't have the right jobs, you know, yes. because because nobody's ever been selected to be the chief of chaplains exactly. unless you're at ACC or, mm -hmm. or AMC or USAFE. And I was like, cool, I mean, what do I care? <laughs> I mean, I, I was, I've known for 20 years now I was never going to be the chief of chaplains, mm -hmm. and so that's great. I, I, I praise God for the opportunities I've had. Um, and, and, um, and, oh, by the way, I was in my 30th year when wow. this happened and and so my boss general Lori robinson came downstairs um, and and she said uh, you've been selected to be the chief of chaplains and you know i didn't want to be the chief of chaplains i mean i wanted to be the deputy <laughs> chief of chaplains if anything and i wasn't even i mean i wasn't even thinking that was going to happen but but it did um, and uh, again just clear evidence that it's something only God could have yes. done. You know, I, 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 don't, I wasn't the best candidate. I wasn't the, 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 the most skilled person. I didn't have the, the best jobs. Uh, but I had, um, I had uh, some really good bosses um, who believed in me and, and who, who did what they do uh, to make it happen. And so, you know, every day I think about this, um, <laughs> I, I think, God, only you could have done yes. it. And, and you did. And, he gets all the glory. Yeah.